to explain exactly what that means and what this mission is. Janae. Well, Sonia, a lot of soldiers and their families are dropping the D from PTSD. They say it is an injury of war, not a disorder. And with less of a stigma, their hope is that more people will get help for post-traumatic stress and traumatic brain injuries. After fighting two wars, U.S. Army Sergeant Dylan Naslin returned home from Iraq and then Afghanistan, a changed man. We really had expected him to come back different from war, but we, there was no way to prepare for what was going to come. For the depression and the demons from his days of combat. In August 2012, Dylan was diagnosed with post-traumatic stress. I often call it the beast, and it, the beast will sneak in and often when the veteran even least expects it. There were glimpses of the pre-war 25-year-old, mostly when he spent time with his young nieces and nephews. But eventually, his mom says, the beast took over. Dylan, um, in December 2012, uh, struggling and suffering with his post-traumatic stress, ended his life. You were always putting yourself last, helping others, and saving their lives. In the days after his death, Lisa Naslin learned that her family wasn't alone. She connected with a soldier's family in California, experiencing the same loss and the same grief. And Operation Engage America was born. It's where we would bring all these resources together for a day so that the soldiers and the veterans and the community members could come to one spot and learn of the resources. Resources she wishes she knew about when her son was in the fight of his life. I'd do anything to have him back. Now her family's mission is to help others battling these invisible injuries of war. It's their way of giving Dylan's death meaning. They're helping us too. Well, they're helping us to heal. And Operation Engage America is at the state capitol this Saturday. Congressman Steve King, soldiers and veterans will kick off the event at 10. About two dozen groups will be there until 3, providing information about everything from horse therapy and service dogs to job and mental health resources. And Janae, they hope to eventually expand this across the entire country, right? That's right. The name is Operation Engage America. Right now it's in Iowa and California, so the goal is to have other states offer the same resource fair. All right. Thanks, Janae.